Well, I'm back on the senior watch here, sitting in Fayetteville this time. I am right off, what is this, Rayford Road at Harris Key, the parking lot. And this is the senior watch. Yeah, got my first place when I was 62 years old. That was over two years ago, and I'm having a ball. But today, all right, well, let's move on. Today on my, um, on this video, I want to talk to our senior citizens about these scams that are going on on, on the internet and all over the place, okay? Why are we targeted in our age group, you know? But I was reading and it seems like they target us because we're trustworthy and unassuming. That means in our generation, we just take people at their word and all of that stuff. And we're supposed to be lonely and just want company and conversation, companionship, and all that stuff. I have to agree. Most people in my age group, that is true. Yep, that's true. But I'm not the typical 64-year-old. I don't look 64. I don't feel 64. I don't think like a 64-year-old. But that will not prevent me from becoming a target. Because these sky scammers out there, they don't know you personally. They are basically going by an assumption. And that they're going to target us, okay? Back in the day, we used to receive phone calls, telemarketers scamming the elderly, tricking elderly people into signing up for subscriptions and giving out their debit cards and all of that. Okay? So they passed laws to kind of, you know, put that at ease. And through education, educating our elderly people, my mother was, um, she was around then, you know, but she don't give out, she wouldn't give out her money to nobody anyway. But I think a loved one, some of my elderly loved ones were exposed to that and went through it because a lot of people in that age group, you know, they suffer from dementia, Alzheimer's, loneliness. They just want to talk to somebody on the phone or buy something nice. All right. Now, that has changed. And it eased onto the emails. And I'm going to have to call them by name because it's the scam capital of the world. Nigerian emails. I used to receive a lot of emails saying that telling me that I won a lot of money or they wanted to send me millions of dollars uh, to keep for them because, you know, they're, they're going away and they want someone to trust. They, they want to trust me with these millions of dollars or they have a sick loved one in the hospital and they want someone to um, help them to pay some bills so they can get a kidney transplant or a head transplant or whatever. And I used to delete them. And then they got even craftier than that. And this is always Africa. Nigerians ain't said it. They call it the mother country. But mother country, y'all need to straighten up and pass some uh, laws to convict these people who are seem like they're getting away with it all over the world. All right. And I received emails because I had a radio ministry. They wanted me to come to Africa. They would pay for me to get there, to meet them at a certain place and everything. I deleted that too. And then I'm going to go to church and I found out someone else received a similar email, but they believed it. They honestly believed it. They were such, you know, there was no great and everything that people wanted them to come to Africa. I didn't say a word because, you know, that was the way I was back then. But today I was certainly warned in the individuals. Now we have the internet, social media, on Facebook. And I'm telling you my personal experience. I have people coming to my page PwC Fellowship on Facebook and on YouTube and lately on TikTok. And I get somewhat viewers on Facebook, but most of my viewers come from TikTok, YouTube, and you now. And I was targeted. I was targeted just sure as you're born. Yep, I was targeted. But going in the second part of that, prior to that, I had a dream about this little short black man asking me to dance. And I haven't slow danced in years. Anyway, in the dream, I danced with him, and then I just put my head on his shoulder, and that was—I knew that was a spirit of seduction and deceit because he was black from his head to his toes, couldn't see his face or anything, just his image. 
Then I started having dreams of people watching me, sitting next to my bed watching me. This fool, this black Nigerian, was watching me on my page, my prayer page, people, where people go to hear the word and get prayer. And he gonna start off by saying he dreamt about me and and had a rated X dream, and I had to rebuke him right then. I said, well, that wasn't me. That was a familiar spirit because that, that wasn't me. And he started saying everything that I would want to hear. And I said, Lord, what is this? And, and I traced his email. Now, I'm going to have to do part two quickly. I traced his email. And his email landed right on my page. Yeah. And lo and behold, he had a story to tell. He had a daughter with mental problems and all of that. Next thing you know, he was dying. I said, well, rest in peace. I hope you repented for all your sins. I refuse to fall for it. But that was just one of the scams. Now I'm going to turn this off and go into part two, okay? Because I'm running out of time. Please come back to part two, all right?